to another edition of Bama and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from Yay Alabama. I'm Lance Taylor from the next round where we talk bourbon and Alabama sports. And today we are previewing, previewing a little Four Roses. Yeah. Small batch. I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. You know, I don't remember if we, I know we did a Four Roses. We've had a Four Roses. Before. Yeah. I don't know which Earlier one. this year, but yeah, but I don't know which one. Because I know they've got uh, the small batch. They've got the reserve. Um, this is good stuff. But yeah, it is really, really I'm good. I'm very excited. When I turned the corner and saw this, I'm like, oh, yeah. It's been a strong Thank season you, for bourbons. On it the really show. has. Yeah, Chan and Pink Package, Joe, everybody up there. I poured myself an extremely large when we've got something going on. The you know, I was with a guy down. on Saturday night. Have you been to the new rooftop bar in Tuscaloosa, that luxury hotel they built? I've been to the Indigo. Is that the no, one you're talking about? Alamite or something? Okay. No, I've been to the Indigo rooftop it's right like, by the um, Yeah, it's theater. downtown. So this one is, uh, you know where Catch-22 is, right yeah. across the street from that. It's a new luxury hotel. It's got a nice steakhouse in there. they got a rooftop bar, and a guy was drinking, that I was with was drinking this this weekend. Oh, it's good. So just tasting notes here. If you've ever wanted proof that mingling bourbons is oh, an that's art good. unto itself, you'll find it perfectly balanced, small batch bourbon. Four original bourbon uh, recipes have been expertly selected by our master distiller at the peak of maturation to create this very mellow, perfectly balanced bourbon. You can enjoy it straight up on the rocks. It's really good. A splash of your favorite mixer. 90 proof. It's um, good. It says rich fruit, mellow spice, hints of sweet oak and caramel. <coughs> uh, yeah. I mean, this is... I mean, I don't know anybody that really doesn't like four roses. No, it's good stuff. And it's a good price point, yeah, too. It's a great price especially point. Especially for, for just this small batch. It's fairly easy to find, too. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll start Alabama basketball. I, this team responds better than anybody, right? I mean, I know Georgia's not a good basketball team. They're not. And I thought it was somewhat comical that Mike White, before the game, said, I just want us to be able to get to the first TV timeout and be in this game. And they <laughs> and weren't. <he> didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Mark Sears come out and knocks down his first three, and it was just one of those nights where this is a, this is a team. If, if Alabama's hitting, it's an avalanche. You just you, you can't survive. They got three wins this season of greater than forty points. Yeah, so this is the fifth time they scored hundred plus, which hundred points in a forty minute basketball. It's crazy, game. it really is. And there's so many ways that they do it. We've seen them win different ways, um, but you know when they lose to Oklahoma, how they bounce back against Vanderbilt. Yeah. Then they lose to Tennessee. They bounce back against uh, Georgia. And look, not not bad teams, not great teams, no. but still average teams. Vanderbilt's won five in a row now. Georgia's getting better in Mike White's first season. And the, the, you see the future where, where they're going. And he he knew that roster where it wasn't where it needs to be to compete in this league. But if Alabama gets on you. They can bury you quickly. Yeah. Uh, Bam and Bourbon, it's brought to you by our friends at the Beverage Place Pink Package. Also, Over the Mountain Cruisers, we'll give you more information on that. Like, subscribe. Uh, Yay Alabama, new venture. Aaron took on a couple of weeks ago. He's got, uh, what are you working on right now? Just put up a Justin Aboigby story. Justin, okay. uh, he's a you know defensive lineman that was out. He played four games last year. And he had a, a, a sort of a disc issue in his neck that threatened his career. They fixed it. He'll be back for his, his senior. So this story is about how they found out, how scary it was when they found it out, and how they eventually got it treated um, using, you remember Justin Ross from Clemson? Yeah. Used his surgeon from Pittsburgh, and that's how they ultimately got this thing fixed. I hope he responds better than Justin Ross. You know, when we saw Ross um, after that national championship, I was like, this guy might be the next great wide receiver. He was in the unreal NFL. against Alabama. <laughs> he I mean, really was. I mean, he was an NFL guy. Yeah, Alabama. he was an 18 year old with a uh, 25 year old body yeah. that had been in the league for years. Do you remember that catch he made on the sideline versus Alabama? His balance, I mean, everything it was about it. Yeah, how he could high point a ball back then. I mean, already had the intelligence. I think we're about to lose the camera. Oh, grab it. Okay, small technical difficulty there. Aaron had to catch our tripod camera. I think the tripod falling. had a little too much bourbon. Yeah, maybe. A little too was, um, Well, I'm not going to make a Justin Ross joke. That's not fair. <laughs> uh, he is going to play in the league, right? He's already in the league, but I, I think he's already had to have another I, surgery. I think so. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll wait to see your article. Yeah. Yay, Alabama. And right subscribe. now it's free. The paywall hasn't been built yet, so anything on just go – TA-Alabama, you'll find it, go to the blog, you'll read my story. So right now, would you say Alabama's got a better offense or defense, basketball? Defense. Even though there have been times they've been they've been shaky and they've given up some stuff, uh, they still have not allowed more than 69 points in a conference game. I just, I don't get that. They still, I mean, but, but Gonzaga got them for 100 earlier this year. Oklahoma had some success against them. Connecticut did. But overall... 
they're, you know that defense is going to keep them in most games they play. Yeah, yeah. Even if Brandon Miller's having one of those yeah. off games, um, you know. But Sears coming out for nineteen. Uh, Miller only plays twenty one minutes, so you've got a lot of bodies. And you know, we we're talking about this. A lot of coaches, especially when you roll into late February, March, they want to shorten that rotation. I don't know if you can with yeah. Alabama. They just got so many guys. Dom Welsh played pretty well. Nick Pringle had what a double double. Yep. Um, you know, Gurley's got a role. You got uh, 25, whose name is escaping me at the minute, transfer from Texas Tech, um, that's playing good defense, and he's knocking down some shots. Burnett. Uh, Burnett uh, Marty Burnett. So they just they just got a lot of dudes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really good team. Uh, and as we record this on Tuesday, uh, tomorrow night they got South Carolina. I don't yeah. see any problems at all. They shouldn't be. They've been great at home. South Carolina's, I mean, just overmatched in this game. And the thing is, even though as well as you've played, Right now, it's going to come down to the last game of the season against Texas A&M because A&M's just not losing. Yeah, you know, and A&M's got Vanderbilt as we record this tonight, but Viscovi, Santiago Viscovi, not supposed to play for Tennessee. That could be a huge factor. We'll see how that thing plays out. It's Bama and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from Yay, Alabama. I'm Lance Taylor. Like, subscribe. It's brought to you by the Beverage Place located next to the PGA Superstore on Highway 280. Also, Pink Package located across from the Target next to Arby's on 280. One-stop shop for liquor, beer, seltzers, wines, sodas, mixers, cigars, ice, even fresh lemons and limes. They open early. They close late. Open 9 a.m. every day except Sunday where they open at noon. Go see Chan, Joe, the fine folks there. We appreciate it. Uh, we'll give you more information on Over the Mountain Cruisers here in a minute. Um... Any news um, as far as Alabama football is concerned? Well, I did see, uh, you know, Kent Wisenhut, or Ken Wisenhut yep. is now a new analyst. I saw him in the hallways the other day. Okay. It's just like you, you look around Alabama, and I saw the, the faces that you remember. It's almost you, like a coaches convention, right? But you, just like you remember, this, if you are a fan of SEC football, you're like, I remember that guy. And then you look up, and he's walking down the hall like Zach Mettenberg. Was, saw him a couple weeks ago at Alabama. Derek Dur- Dooley. They, so I, Ken Wisenhut is his father-in-law, right? Is that, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, is Mettenberger's father-in-law. So I saw Mettenberger, you know, Derek Dooley, we, we passed each other going to the bathroom last week. You just forget about all, you know, Todd Grantham when he was there. You just forget about all these names that you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot they worked at Alabama. So how often are you in that building? Uh, two or three times a week. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, and I, again, if you're just joining us for the first time in two or three weeks, um, Aaron just took a job with the A Alabama, the collective, and it's really cool, so... Whatever level you get at, that money goes to all the athletes. One hundred percent goes yeah, to twenty-one athletes. different sports, right? Yep. yep. And um, do they have you in office yet, or are you just more saving? I'm kind or? of working around the building. I got, in fact, I got booted out of the office I was working out of yesterday. Just, it's a busy time. Um, you know, Haha Clint Dix is back. He's Didn't a director of that. player personnel, and he tweeted today. We're filming this on Tuesday. He got his first, uh, let's say, rear end chewing. From Saban? He okay. said, one down, five million to go. Yeah, I was about to say, it will <laughs> not be his last. Uh, but Saban has calmed down a little bit. Since you start, I mean, how long have you been covering Nick Saban? Since he was there, first year. I was oh, having, wow. Yeah. I mean, I was still in school at Alabama, but I was covering him. And, I mean, obviously still the best ever, but I mean, he's, how much he's has intense. the attitude changed? Inside that building, he's still intense. Yeah. I mean, if you work in or around Alabama football, it is impossible for you not to catch a stray at some point. You're going to get yelled at. Bama and Bourbon, it is brought to you by our friends at Beverage Place Pink Package. Also, Over the Mountain Cruiser, Southeast Hub, the Toyota Land Cruiser, nearly 10 years of experience servicing and outfitting Land Cruisers, OTM Cruisers. They've got the skills and knowledge to service, pre-qualify any Toyota Land Cruiser or Lexus four-wheel drive. Quickly address your needs, otmcruisers.com. So we're previewing the Four Roses. We've done this before. I don't remember when it was. But this is one of those bourbons, and I'm guessing, would you say about a 40 to $50 yeah, price point? Yeah. But this is one of those, if you're having people over, it's smooth. It, whether they love bourbon or they're beginners or they're in between, whatever, I think this appeals to all. I think it's a good starting point. It's also good enough for if you're into bourbon, you're going to enjoy it. Like you said, it's a well-rounded bourbon that I think anybody will enjoy. Yeah, I busted uh, four or five different ones out this past weekend, had people yeah. over, and um, I know you do this a lot, and it's just so much fun for people that are just starting to get on the bourbon train. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you know, it, somebody sent me a list the other day. I need to, I'll forward it to you. It's the 12 best non-Kentucky bourbons. Okay. Yeah. Now, we, we, we took a trip. We saw a concert. We went to Red Rocks a few years ago. Dying to go. And we, I think we went to, it was called Stranahan's. It's a, a bourbon. They use the, the fresh water out there that was really good. It's also the same company owns 10 Cup. That, they're both out of Colorado. 
I mean, bourbon has exploded nationally. It's all over the place. Yeah. It is all over the place. And I, I wonder what celebrities are behind. Because there's so many celebrities behind tequila. I know Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston have got one. George Clooney and Randy Gerber have got Casamigos. Um, and that made them a killing. Oh, my gosh. A killing. Yeah. Barkley, obviously, locally, one of our great yeah. sponsors, has got Redmont Vodka. Any celebs behind the, the bourbon? Well, we, we did one. With Drake. Drake, man. Where's Drake? Oh, here's Drake's <laughs> bourbon. Not to step on the toes of Four Roses. Drake. The Virginia Black. I don't think it was truly bourbon, though, was it? No, I think it's a whiskey. It's American whiskey. Yeah, and it was yeah. better than expected, though. It, the bottle threw me off. I did not ex- <laughs> expect yeah. to like it. But, hey, sometimes the packaging can be full. I, I, you know, I think there's probably a lot of... Uh, I think some country music, musicians are in, in some bourbon, probably as investors, and I wouldn't be surprised if um, maybe some NASCAR guys too. So we had um, a guest come by yesterday, and they're like, instead of going out and paying $70 for a bottle of bourbon, I'm just going to try some of yours to see what I like. Yeah. And they had like four or five bottles up here yesterday just going through it, but that's what we're here for. Yeah, right? some people don't know what they like, so that's why when you break out four or five bottles at a party or a gathering, people like, they're like, oh, this is my opportunity to taste a lot without investing a lot of money to figure out what I like. So, uh, obviously, Nate Oates has done an incredible job. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago on you can make the comparison if he was able to go to Alabama's first ever Final Four. It's almost what Nick Saban did in his first yeah. four years. Yeah. But I was going to ask you, Alabama right now, the number one overall seed. We saw it unveiled this Incredible. past weekend. Yeah. Kansas, though, they just got their 13th quad one win last night. They yeah. are your defending national champions. If they are able to run the table, win the conference tournament, they'll close the season winning 14 of 15. And Dunaway and I started arguing back and forth. He believes Alabama still will be the number one if overall Alabama seed. Wins out? If Alabama wins out. If Alabama wins out, they're number one. Okay. I think so. I just wanted to see where you were on that. Yeah. I just, I think there's some Do you think of... Alabama wins out? No. I don't either. And I don't think Kansas wins out. Yeah. I mean, Kansas is really, their only difficult regular season game is they've got to go to Austin to take on Texas. But once they get in that tournament, of course, they seem to win that tournament every yeah. year. Um, but it's, I think and it's Alabama, a good league, man. It really is. It's a good league. Um, I don't know if Alabama trips up in the regular season. At A&M will be interesting. Put it this way. If A&M, if it's four... The conference championship, and I know technically they will split, yeah. but I guess A&M would get the one seed yeah. in Nashville. I could see A&M possibly, um, well, I think Alabama would win in that situation. But if A&M is already two games back, I could see A&M I could see Alabama Absolutely. drop that final. Yeah, I, I, I think that one's it's going to be tough because I think if it comes down to the final one, a and M's a, a tough team, and Alabama has struggled offensively with tough teams like that. So Brandon Miller, obviously the best team on this roster, but as we get into this home stretch, I mean, who do you think the most important guy is? Sears. Yeah. I really think Sears sets the tone, and when he's able to get where he wants to go, he's not turning the ball over, he can make it at shots at the rim. He can even, I mean, it's not Alabama's game. They don't like the mid-range. He can hit a mid-range. He can shoot from three. If he's on his game, he sets the pace for that team, the tone. I think they're really tough to beat when he's on. Um, Okay, so again, Bam and Bourbon, we do this every single week. Tell your friends. Uh, Aaron Suttles from Yay Alabama, part of the collective. I'm Lance Taylor from the next round. Uh, So we've established where the money goes when people the different sponsorship levels. You were talking about you're doing another football article. Will you do any basketball articles? I'll do all of them. In fact, um, you know, depending on how successful Alabama goes this year, I might be traveling with them. Okay. Well, we're planning on going to the SEC tournament. Um, So we'll be in Nashville for that. And then if they were to get to Louisville or Houston, if that's where it plays out, I think we probably would go. We might have to do some road shows, some Bam and Bourbon road shows. Would love it. That's a good opportunity for some ads for you guys. Well, find a spot. I mean, imagine if we go to Louisville. We probably oh, could do it from a distillery. I have to tell my wife. Sorry, babe. Yeah. Work calls. I think she'll be okay with it. I know your wife. She's very, very understanding. She is. Um, again, tell your friends. Like, subscribe. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Yay, Alabama. Again, it's free right now, so there's yep. no reason not to at least yep. check it out. Absolutely. Right? And, and go check out the site. We're putting new merchandise up all the time. I think you guys are really going to like the store. Some unique stuff you're not going to get anywhere else. So. New stuff coming out all the time. Uh, Alabama, when we come back next week, are they 2-0? Oh, so they've got South Carolina tonight, and Saturday is... Home Arkansas. Home right? Arkansas, yeah. yeah. I think they win both those games. It's a desperate game for Arkansas, though. Yeah. And, and, and that's another team we talk about up and down. Like Sometimes they look great, sometimes they don't. Yeah, and that's Missouri, too. There, there's a lot of teams in this league that are like that. You know, you can... I say this, Tennessee's lost three consecutive road games. Feel good about Alabama, Tennessee... Starting to think Texas A&M is for real. And they're still one of the last four teams in, right? No, no, no. They're out of conference. It's not great. I I 
think they I think Mississippi State's one of the last okay. one. Yeah. Okay. But they're still high up, like a nine yeah. seed, right? Yeah, I don't trust Mississippi State. I don't trust Auburn right now. No. I don't know if either one of those teams get in. I mean, Auburn's got a, a tough, tough close to the season. Unreal. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. But uh, we'll be back next week again. Tell your friends, like, subscribe. It is Bama and Bourbon. It is brought to you by the Beverage Place Pink Package. Also, Over the Mountain Cruisers. Go to otmcruisers.com. Special thanks. Four Roses, again, we both give it a thumbs up. Great stuff. Very, very strong stuff. So get out to uh, Pink Package and Beverage Place, pick up a bottle. But again, we'll see you next week. Have a safe week, and uh, make sure you tell your friends. Tune in to Bam and Bourbon.